Hello on YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and welcome back to some more Half Stack. We're back today, it's episode number four and uh, wonderful looking house in the background. I can't believe it, I still cannot believe that I actually created that guys. Um, wonderful looking house. We are going to uh, put that map away actually, we're going to stick it right on here so you can see the lovely looking map that we've got on there and you can just see actually the sand biome, the, uh, the, the desert biome just popping into that side which is good. Today we are going to be uh, doing the sugarcane farm but I do need to go into the nether. That is an absolute must for today's uh, for today's thing. Quieten down over there. Oh, got all that leather. Fantastic. So we're going to take some of our diamonds that we got during the last episode and our mining spree that we did. And uh, we're going to take some of these sticks and we're going to make ourselves a diamond pickaxe. And with this diamond pickaxe, our first one of the series, we're going to go ahead and uh, go and get some much needed obsidian and this is going to help with uh, with our thing so i've got some torches there i've got quite a lot of stuff on me that i don't actually need so hang on a minute i may need this iron chest plate it's the last piece of armor there that's all iron now so that's good at least we are somewhat protected for the depths of the world which is uh yeah we're gonna have to sort this out at some stage as well all these little jobs that i've got that are starting to pile up, so we've got to make sure that we do this. And of course, the XP spawner that we're going to be making out of this thing uh, is going to have to be slightly different. Hopefully, I can find a different one. Maybe a skeleton spawner would be absolutely fantastic for us, but uh, a zombie one would also be good. But hopefully, uh, we can get something going with the XP here. So let me try and find some obsidian. This might be a slight issue here, but there is a creeper just in that corner, right where I want to get my obsidian from. And I didn't bring a bucket with me because I'm an absolute clown, so I can't manoeuvre this water around the place. It should be okay, though. I might be able to get that creeper just to blow up uh, in the corner there, still in the water. Yeah, there we go. So it's not actually destroyed any blocks, which is great. Right, let me sort of hobble over here and try to stop this water coming through there. I think that should be it. We might do that as well, just to be uh, just to be on the safe side. So I need to know just how far down this lava actually goes, uh, and if this is going to be possible or not to do vein miner on this uh, this obsidian here. So um, it seems as if it might be. So let's go and give it a try, anyways, guys. We just need the one piece. Oh, we need to vein mine the one piece, and uh, we can get as much uh, obsidian as what is stuck to this, which is going to be quite a lot, I'd presume. There we go, nice one. Wow, that was uh, quite a lot of obsidian. I don't think we'll ever need to get any more obsidian ever again. We got the ice bucket challenge though. Another, um, uh, another achievement down, which is good. And yeah, we've got plenty of obsidian now, which is great. And we didn't use much of our pickaxe, which is also an absolute bonus. So where are we going to be putting this um, th this portal? Well, I think just right down here will be great for the moment. I don't want it too close to my base, but I don't want it too far away either. And I think down here is probably going to be a good place for it. So let's go ahead. We can probably do a, a bigger portal than we usually would be able to, especially with the amount of obsidian we've just actually got here. So uh, I'm going to open up quite a sizable chunk, I should think. Something that looks a little bit like this. As a base, let me just pop back here and have a gander from it. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. We can spruce this area out eventually to make it look more portally fied. And let's put some obsidian down the bottom here. Do people do corners? That's what I would like to know because I don't ever do corners. I always keep as much obsidian as physically possible and I don't actually do the corner pieces. I just keep the edges. That's it. And uh, always have. So let's go and pop that down there. Brilliant. We've got something that looks a little bit like that, which is fantastic. In fact, let me go ahead and uh, just make it a little bit more portally fine. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Um, we might want to do something with the ceiling just there to sort of hide it into the wall, this top part, because it does look a bit weird, does that top part. And let's go and get ourselves. We should have some flint, and we should have um, some... We've definitely got iron, I know that much for a fact. Let's go and grab that. Give it a light and then go in and see what we've got. So, Flint, uh, where are you, Flint? I'm sure I have some Flint. It seems that I might not have. Oh, there we go. First piece. First piece of gravel that I actually mined there gave us a, uh, gave us a piece of Flint. Uh, it appears that we don't have some Flint. And I changed around. I don't know if you've seen this or not, guys. But I did change around my chest. So, I've got a double chest for blocks now. 
Um, and I've run out. I've run out of space to put all the individual bits and bobs chest thing. Um, we're going to have to sort this out. But I'm not going to do that until we get in the actual house. We're going to be sorting that house out. As oh, there it is. Flint. Right in front of my face. It's in the precious stuff's chest. Oh, what a pain. Alright, so while we're, while we're here, we may as well chuck in our stuff to the blast furnace there, which will get sorted whilst we're, while we're away. Um, do I need anything else? Yeah, I probably do, actually. I probably need some sort of building box if I've got enough cobblestone uh, just to be able to surround the portal with. And we're going to need probably our bucket of water as well. I would hazard a guess as to think that that would be enough. Right, let's go to the nether and see what the nether looks like with this in this mod pack. I'm not entirely sure if there'll be any change. Uh, if there would be caverns like there were in the overworld, it would be absolutely immense. That looks ace. I do like that. Uh, so let's get to it, I suppose. Through the portal for the first time. That'll be an achievement as well. Come on. You can do it. So... Looking at this, it doesn't look much different, to be quite honest. Uh, I am going to want to surround this with cobblestone so that the ghasts don't blow it up. Golden nugget from that one. So we've come here for a specific reason, and that is to get some of that stuff, this uh, wonderful uh, nether quartz, because that's what we're going to need to create the observers we're going to need for the sugarcane farm that we're going to be creating today. Um, oh, we've run out. But I'm onto my diamond pickaxe already, guys. Nice. So I'm going to just get some of this stuff to sort of bridge out over and uh, and grab some of this stuff. And so I can actually get back to the portal would be a good idea. So brilliant. That's okay. What's that? I don't know what that is. <gasps> it's a fumarole. Whatever, one of, whatever a fumarole is, I've got one. <laughs> what is that? Do you know what it is? <laughs> There's something over there. And it, it doesn't look very pleasant, I will say. It looks like a dog that's on fire. So we'll try to stay away from that. But it is next to our portal. So we might have some issues with this. Alright, well, some bad news. We do have to go back over there. Because I want to be able to get out of here. It doesn't look like it's uh, after me. Oh, no, I take that back. It does look like it's after me, actually. It's a foxhound. And it looks... Quite, you know, it's definitely after me. But uh, luckily for me, it was quite easy to kill. Right, let's go home. <laughs> I don't like it here already. Right, stop them little guys coming through. We'll put that there so they'll just keep going back home, hopefully. And uh, we will go ahead and start trying to figure out how we're going to make this. Because I do believe we need some slime as well. And that's going to be an issue to be able to get at this point in time. Is, uh, is the slime. But I'm just wondering with this fumarole, is there something we can do with this? Well, it doesn't have a recipe. So I'm presuming it's just something we can keep flying around and it will sort of give out some smoke, which is pretty good actually. I like that. I like the, I like the look of that. Here we go, guys. I have just seen, outside the window here, a pillager. This is new in uh, 114, I do believe. This guy right here. We want to try to keep out of the way of him because there will be, if there's a patrol, if there's a patrol, which I'm presuming there will be, uh, there might be somewhere around here, um, a banner, a bannerman, a pillager bannerman. And if you kill them, then there's a whole world of pain. Uh, but we do, we do have some cows, so it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, there we are. There they are. Look, there's the rest of them. We do want to try to stay out of this, <laughs> to be honest. We want to let, let these guys sort of move on with their business and just let them pass through. Because I I, I want ranged uh, weapons to be able to deal with them, to be quite honest. Um, and we don't have a ranged weapon. We might as well give it a try, actually. Let's go for it, guys. Let's go for it. We are currently okay. We're currently alive. I don't know how much damage these guys do. Okay, They're, they don't seem too bad. Might be able to take these down. Brilliant. I think we will. Nice. And we got a crossbow out of that. So we've got a decent ranged weapon, which is why I wanted to try and take them out, because they do give us the uh, the crossbows. So, ooh. <laughs> I got an achievement for that. Did we... Oh my goodness. Right, let's give it a try. Pew! Oh, 
No, apparently you cock it and then you fire it. Nice. Oh my goodness, that killed it in one. Unless I hit it by accident. Oh, I forgot about a tallow as well. Nice. Well, guys, we've got ourselves a crossbow, which is quite nice. Um, though it's not entirely, you know, full of health right there. It, it's got some damage on it, so we want to be careful that we don't damage the whole thing here. Oh my god, seriously? I've caught a wandering trader in with my chickens. We, we definitely need to build this chicken coop now. This is crazy. Uh, let me know, guys. I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get the uh, the camera mod because I do want to do some sort of time lapse stuff, and especially like building a little chickens coop would be uh, a nice thing to put into a time lapse. Uh, let me know if that's something that you would be interested in seeing. Is uh, is time lapse footage because uh, that would be something that I haven't really done quite a lot of in the past before. So. I'd need to figure all that sort of stuff out. I could swear there was a way of finding slime chunks uh, within the F3 menu, but it doesn't seem that that is indeed the case. So, what I'm going to suggest uh, is we're going to dig down, we're going to dig out a, a big area. Uh, not entirely the best way that I want to be able to do this, uh, to check out the slime chunks and, and find out which slime chunk is a chunk because I could be there for absolutely ever um, so I might do that off camera but if you find it if you guys know of a better way of finding out where slime chunks are please do let me know because I, I really am not entirely sure and with this pack unfortunately there is no other way of making slime balls and this sugarcane farm will not work without these slime balls we need sticky pistons it just will not work otherwise so, I'm going to have to use it just the normal way there and make a normal sugarcane farm. Or, uh, and what I am actually going to do for the rest of this episode, well, not for the rest of this episode, because we're going to do a little bit more as well, is we're going to make a sugarcane farm, very similar to this one, but we're going to make a sugarcane one. And we're going to make it slightly differently, um, but we will make just a normal one. So it's like this, but it'll be much, it'll be much neater, much better. Okay, with that now mined out of the way, I don't want these sort of symmetrical with each other. I do want them slightly out of the way. Um, so I think we'll start something from here, maybe. And I think, yeah, because that's not quite on the same lines. And it just means when we do do some paths, that we can sort of make things look a little bit less squarey. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to go with that as one of the corners. Right, so a little bit of the way into this build then, we've got... Uh, We've got this. <laughs> Basically, this is going to be it. Um, so, I'm just going to fill it up with some water over here. Get this to a full water source. Oops, would help if I actually made it a full water source. There we go. And I didn't take half of it away. There we go. Brilliant. And do the same for over here. And there we go. So that is now pretty much done. Uh, it looks a little bit square. It looks a little bit boring. I will say that much. I'm going to get some fences. I think um, maybe we can have some sort of roof on there. I just don't know. But it will grow sugarcane at the moment. And that is the main thing that we want. So let's go ahead and grab this sugarcane. And we'll go ahead and plant this. So as it works, you've got to have it next to uh, a water source, or flowing water if you if you want to have it next to flowing water. We're going to do something that looks a little bit like this, all the way across. And this is until we have the use of uh, slime. We need to get slime, basically. And this will be a good farm until then. Brilliant. Let's go and try to smarten it up with some uh, with some fence. Okay, so it's not much to look at, let's be honest, <laughs> but it is a farm, and um, it looks like it's segregated off, it looks slightly different, it's got a bit of variation in height and what have you. We will have some sort of roof on there, I believe, at some point, but I think I want that to be glass. Um, it's three high, so I I'm probably going to put some wood or something around it, and then a glass sort of like half dome sort of thing on the top there, maybe, something like that, I'm not sure, uh, but we do need glass for that as well. That brings me on to the next and final thing of what we're going to be doing this episode. And that is going over to the sand, uh, going over to the uh, to, to the desert over there, and then putting the other portal down and trying to get back to our portal in the nether over here. That requires me to go into the nether uh, on this side just to be able to take a quick um, like coordinate thing of this portal. And we've got enough, enough obsidian to be able to go and, and figure out where this other portal will need to be in the nether. So let me go ahead and do that then, guys. And I'll meet you over in the uh, desert. 
Okay, fantastic. We are here in the desert now. Let's go ahead and it's going to be right on the edge of the desert that we're going to place this uh, this portal uh, because I want to have access to all of the desert, of course. So I think right here on the edge, um, is that possibly the best idea? We want to surround ourselves in sand, don't we? So we might go a little bit further into the desert here and uh, probably just over this side from where I, I got the other sugar cane from. Probably somewhere around about over there, maybe, so that we've got access to the hills. If we need a, quite a lot of sand in the future, you never know with concrete and all that sort of stuff. We might want some sand. Um, so I think we'll go ahead and we'll dig into this uh, the side of here, like this. And this is where our portal is going to be. It's dug into the side of here. And unlike the other ones... We are going to go with just a small portal on both sides of this, because that's all I've brought with us, is the 10 obsidian that we can use that for. And um, I think we can just get away with putting one of them onto the corners, but then getting rid of the corner. Lovely. And then, of course, we need to flint and steel this. Nice one. This is going to work, guys. I promise. I hope it is going to work anyway. And let's hope that we don't end up in the middle of uh, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and hopefully, we'll have enough stuff around us, which we do. This is good. This is good. We've got a lot of these blocks near us, by the looks of things. But there's nothing here. We've got to be really careful for this. It's going to go down that way, so I think we're all going to be okay. Um, all right. So, we're looking okay, guys. We are looking okay. It's a little bit open, a little bit dangerous. So let me go ahead and just cover this slightly with dirt. Not that that is going to go anywhere, of course. Okay, we're out. <laughs> we're out of here. I've just heard the ghast whilst I was trying to build a little shell around there, just so I can see where the actual place is, but the ghast seems to have spawned. We're going to have to go back in there, that's the most annoying thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back in there, and I'm just going to run in one direction, and hope to smack the thing back at it. So, come on, let's go. Let's do this. We can do this, guys. So we should come out, pointing the right way anyway. There's a hound over there, which is not a good thing. Has it gone? It seems to be floating away. We really need co uh, cobblestone for this. Alright, so the gas cannot see me now. I've got a little bit of a, of a dirt hole here. So what we want to do is try to find out where the other uh, thing is. So I've got the coordinates in front of me for the, uh, for the overworld. Um, for the overworld side of the nether. I just need this one. So, 2, 6, 4... 57, lovely, that's what I like to see, and uh, 59, so the 57, the Y level is exactly the same, that'll help me out later on when it comes to using like a nether hub or something like that, so, um, we've just got a ways to go, I, I do believe, we've got a ways to go to be able to get home, but uh, let's see what happens anyway guys, so let's see if I can find the other portal. Okay, just digging through the nether, guys, at Y level 57, so our portal should be along this uh, along this Y level. But it is going to take a little while, so it seems. We've gone quite a ways over to this, so it's going to take a little while to be able to get over to our other portal, which is in this direction, and then slightly over in that direction as well. So, like I said, it's going to take a while. I'll be back. Oh, I've dug into the nether fortress, guys. This is not... Oh, this is not exactly what I was expecting here. I'm hoping that I'm going to go underneath this because I, I'm not ready for the nether fortress at this moment in time. But it's nice to know that the nether fortress is actually on my way uh, to going home. So, at least that's interesting. Right, okay. I see the portal in front of me, guys. It's right there. Um, so, we need to be able to get to this. And um, we need... Uh, do I want it to curl around this way? I probably do, to be honest. So we might want to dig just a little bit further uh, in this direction over here. Because eventually what we're going to have is um, either minecarts or a boat track or something like that in this direction. So, uh, your boat on ice, I mean. So Because I know that they're quite quick. Uh, they're very, very quick indeed. So we might do something that looks a little bit something like that. Now, I've actually gone ahead and uh, I've found a place that has got ice. So that's going to be massive for us when it comes to doing farms and stuff later on. Because ice is such a, a great part of normal Minecraft now. It's actually been given such a, a brilliant use. 
I'm just trying to keep my uh, keep away from this guy right here. Look. Oh, come on. It's it's stuck. What? Oh, I nearly got the return to sender, guys. This is it. This is the return to sender right here. What the heck? Why is it not hitting it? It's always had this issue, this return to sender, where it doesn't seem to want to hit the thing back. Right, okay, we can do this, though. We've got this, guys. Yes! I have set myself on fire, though, which is a terrible idea. Let's get out of the way. And hopefully this stops itself before I actually die. There we go. Brilliant. We got the return to sender. Woo! We got another achievement. That's a big achievement as well, actually. It's one of the hard ones to get uh, in Minecraft. So I'm quite happy about that. Okay, so let's make a little bit of an entrance here for this portal over this way. Eventually, this will be a much bigger uh, than the 1x2 hole that we've got here. I'm going for a 3x3, three three, and uh, hopefully we can sort of expand upon that. Uh, and get, like I said, get the boats, get the ice, get all that sort of stuff, which is going to be awesome. Uh, get that down this way. So, but for the moment, one by one, it is. We will, uh, we will treat it as a one by one, and uh, we'll just leave enough space to be able to, you know, uh, expand into, shall we say? And there we go. Completely enclosed in now. We can get from here to, uh, to, to the, uh, to the sand with absolutely no issues whatsoever. So this is going to be, uh, this is going to be awesome. We've got a way through there. We've also got a way to the nether portal, uh, to the nether portal, to the nether fortress as well. So we'll have to sort of have a little bit of a stop off while we're over there as well. Oh my God, this is not good. Hopefully I can get out of here. Without <laughs> angering that guy, which I did, so. Oh, it's night time. Quick, let's go to sleep. Oh, he's gone. Nice. Oh, no, he's back again. I'm trying to do it so that I don't actually slap this guy. But uh, he is getting very close, I will say, to being slapped. So let's put that on there. Mind you. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> Why? Why do you have to do this to me? We need to go through the nether anyway to be able to get some of this sand um, for for our glass that we're going to need for our house and also the sugarcane farm. So let me go and get some glass. We're very nearly at the end of the episode now, but let's give this a, a quick try to see how much quicker this actually is going through this way uh, than it is the other way. So through here then. And it's just down here. We take a left. This should be... Oh yeah, I forgot to actually... Uh, Fill that one back in, because we don't need that no more. Might as well grab this while I'm here. Oh, that's a bit more than I was expecting, but lovely jubbly, 18 pieces. Very nice. And then it's just literally a straight shot all the way to, uh, to, to the portal. So this is still quite a long way, it has to be said. When you think about one block uh, down here is eight blocks in the overworld. You can see just how long it takes to get from uh, my place in the overworld to... Uh, and there's the, uh, the fortress look. Yeah, you can tell how long it gets from... Uh, how long it takes to get from my place to the, uh, to the sand. Let's go grab this while we're here as well. I'll light that up. I don't know if it makes any difference, but... I do need a tiny little bit more. And then we're on the road again. On the road again! Let's eat. I think I'm seeing some light at the end of the tunnel over here. Or at least the end of the tunnel over here. Not light, but I'm seeing the end of the tunnel. And, oh, I haven't actually covered this area. It would help if I did. And here we go. So I might knock out the back here and then sort of go into, uh, into that from here. Rather than having to go around like this. Or oh, this might be a little bit of an area. Um, oh, does that actually push me up? Did this actually push me up? That's the question that I want answering because I'm sure it did. And I, I want to see if it actually does. It's when it makes a noise. It goes poof, like that. No? I will fill that in though. It doesn't seem to want to, I swear. Oh, it did! I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, 
Will it do this with a with a with an item? Right, I've sat here and stared at this now for a good couple of minutes, guys, and there's absolutely nothing happening. I think it's only when uh, when a person stands on it, maybe, because I see absolutely nothing happening with any items. That is for sure. So I'm going to need to make this a bit more safe than than it currently is. I mean, you can hear the the guests out there, uh, but it does mean that we can go out here now, guys. And we will be able to get some sand, and that is the big thing. We've got access to some sand, we've got access to cactus. This is glass, this is concrete, it's looking great, guys. Ah, okay, I've run out of uh, shovel, which is our unofficial end point for this bit of mining session that we've had here of the sand. So we've got, we've got a couple of stacks and we've got 17 as well. That should be enough uh, for the minute. I just want enough glass to be able to finish our house off, and I might have to get some more... Uh, in the ways of, we need to run now. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, ice would definitely be a plus upon this. But we need silk touch for that, and that's later on down the line. I need an XP farm. Uh, a decent XP farm, that is. And uh, we need um, diamonds. We need a lot more diamonds than we currently have. I want to be able to enchant my stuff, but I only want to enchant diamond stuff. Not iron. So we definitely need diamonds. Before we do anything, diamonds, guys. When you take into account that this is like... It's quite far, but it's nowhere near as far as as, uh, as the overworld. So that's quite nice, actually. We will definitely have to sort of expand that out as we're going. But we've got a lot of jobs sort of like, you know, piling up on us. We've got glass to put into there. We've got the sugarcane farm to finish off with a little bit of a glass dome on the top there, and I do plan on doing that. Uh, we've got paths to put in over here. We've got a, a, we've got the nether portal area to sort of sort out. We've got this here. I think we need some sort of to-do board, but I'm going to do that uh, in the next episode, because we've got quite a lot still to do. Uh, and we're very nearly at the end of this episode. So, can we... Put sand in the blast furnace. No, we can't. We can't put it in the smoker either. This is actually really bad. <laughs> means we're going to have to do it in a normal furnace. And that's terrible news. Right, just putting the finishing touches to the roof of my house now. And I, to I toyed with the idea of putting the birch wood stairs all the way down. But uh, it seems that actually this little gap here will allow us to tie these little areas up with the rest of the house. Apart from the front there, there is absolutely nothing on the front that I can do to be able to uh, to make that sort of stand out. Um, but it looks a damn sight lot better than it did. Everything looks okay. We've got some shape in the, uh, in the, in the walls here. We just need to set out where the rooms are going to be. And again, that's going to be in a separate episode. But to finish this episode off, guys, well, it's time to finish off the inside of this house, uh, well, the outside of this house, should I say, and that is the glass as well. We should have plenty of glass now uh, with which to be able to create some glass panes. And yes, I'd rather use glass panes than full glass box for this because uh, it's on the actual stairs here. So if we're looking at that, it just makes more sense for it to be a bit like that. On the right on the front of where the uh, of where the stairs are. If you just have a look there, that looks much better than what a full glass block would do on top of them. So I just need to do this all the way around the house. And guys, the outside of this is now completely finished. And here we go, guys. It is now finished. Oh my goodness gracious me, that feels so much better. Hang on a minute, I've missed a couple of bits. Just in the top there. We're going to have another little... Oh, that looks ace! Nice. I love this! I love this little house! So, um, I, I know you guys have probably been asking this question. This is a mod pack. You know, by no means... Uh, by no means is it anything else. It is a mod pack. It is modded Minecraft. However, the feel of this pack and the aim of this pack is very much vanilla. Like, there's, I'm, I'm going to make no bones about it, guys. It is very much a vanilla-style pack. We're going to be making things look better, look good. We're going to be doing things vanilla uh, that you wouldn't necessarily do. And as I said, we're going to be moving through this advancements, uh, and that is how we're going to be completing, in inverted commas, this pack. But it will allow me to just explore vanilla a little bit more with that added extra of, uh, of the mods in there as well. But only very, very slight mods and, and vanilla orientated mods. So if you're wondering where this pack is going to go, if where this series is going to go, if you're feeling like it's a bit disjointed, then you're not the only one. I feel like I'm being a bit disjointed with how this pack is going at the moment. But then again, it's vanilla and there's nothing really to say that there's a set progression 
within vanilla that you need to do so that's why it feels a little bit out it feels a little bit uh, a little bit out but we've got a house guys which looks absolutely fantastic we've got into the nether which looks great and we've got ourselves a diamond pickaxe which is nearly halfway gone now we're gonna have to put that diamond pickaxe to some good use and go actual mining uh, I'm probably going to do that in between episodes try and find some more diamonds uh, so that I can get enchanting on the go um, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do next episode. I think in between episodes what we'll do guys is I will go out and I will do some mining. Next episode we will come back and we'll take a look at that spider spawner and see if there's something that we can do there to be able to get some XP. Because we're going to be getting paper, we've got uh, we've got the uh, we've got the leather, all the leather we'll ever need going through there as well. So we're very nearly at the enchantment stage. So that's what we're going to be doing for next episode. Working on that spider spawner to get the experience we need to be able to put, uh, to be able to get an enchanting setup worthy of uh, of this pack. So, anyways, guys, that is going to be it for the end of this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it, and if you have, please go ahead and leave a like. If you've got any comments or suggestions, please put them down in the section below as well. And I will see you guys next time. Until then, have a the tough man. As always, stay safe.